Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. So today's video is going to be my February favorites. I know that we are already out of February, but I figured I would do this because February is such a short month that I feel like it flew by, but I also found some like new favorite products and I really want to share them with you guys. So I know it's already March, so I'm sorry about that, but if you guys want to see what my favorites of February were, then let's just jump right in. Okay, so the first product that I've been absolutely loving the month of February is this Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the color Sao Paulo. I actually have it on my lips right now, and I did film a makeup tutorial, the video before this one, and I did use this one in action if you guys want to go see that. But Ofra Cosmetics is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks. Actually, I'm going to say that they are my favorite formula. They are so comfortable on the lips. The colors are absolutely amazing. You can literally get any color you want. They have crazy colors and kind of more like wearable colors. I think these run for $19 and they are absolutely amazing. Like I said, I have this one on my lips right now and I have a gloss over it that I will talk about in a minute, but this has been like my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks lately um, and I've just been reaching for this formula so much. It's amazing. This is what the color looks like on the back of my hand. It is just like this really pretty peachy nude shade and the formula is so buttery and creamy. It's like more of like a moussey texture, but I absolutely love, love this formula. It's so good. So if you guys have not tried out the Ofra liquid lipsticks, definitely try them out. So the next favorite has been this lip gloss by Buxom. This is the color White Russian. I have this on my lips over top of the liquid lipstick and this has been my all-time favorite lip gloss. I've been throwing this in my purse, applying all the time. It has like this minty sensation when you put it on your lips, so you just feel like you have fresh breath and it just feels really nice on the lips. It's like, it's not plumping, but it almost makes your lips feel like it's they're a little plump because of the minty, like kind of like flavor in it. The formula of these lip glosses are so comfortable and they're not sticky at all. They're just so glossy and they give you like the really pretty like wet lip gloss look. So I love this lip gloss so, so much. Such a favorite. Sticking with lips, I'm gonna talk about this. This is fairly new, but I've been loving this. This is by MAC. This is the um, amplified lipstick in the color uh, Blankety. So it just is like this really, really pretty nude. As you can see, these are all like nude colors. Um, I'm so upset though because mine is like breaking. Like it's starting to have like a bend to it and I feel like it's gonna break at any moment but it's very similar to the liquid lipstick. So this one is the lipstick and then this one is the liquid lipstick. I just love this. It feels very comfortable on the lips. It's very creamy and it has like a really pretty finish. It's not matte, but it's not like super, super glossy. It's kind of like a mixture of the in-between. I just love this lipstick. I've been putting this in my purse as well and just kind of like throwing this on and I just love it. So moving on to a foundation of the month that I've been back to loving. I've talked about this foundation several times before and I've worn this all the time but this month I've been really really reaching for it again and this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I'm in the color Golden Neutral I believe. Yep, Golden Neutral and this foundation is tricky to find a shade because they have a lot of like pinky undertones and I don't really like pinky undertone foundations. So this one is the only one that really matches me but it can be a little bit dark when I'm more pale. So I have to use this when I have like a self tan going on. I do have it on my face right now and I did have to bronze up my skin to kind of match it because my, fa my tan is fading. So it is a little dark when I am more pale, but once you put concealer on and kind of like bronze up your neck, it's fine. But I just love this foundation. It has the doe foot applicator stick and it's just really easy to apply and I just really love this foundation. It is the most like long lasting foundation I've ever tried and it's so full coverage. So I just, I love this foundation. I have nothing bad to say about it. Moving on to a powder that I've been recently loving. This is the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder, the Photo Focus Powder, and this is in the color Warm Light. So this is what it looks like. 
This stuff is so good and for the price you just can't beat it. It is so smooth and it just makes your makeup look really flawless. It doesn't look cakey, it just blends onto the skin. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. It's, it's pretty light, um, but it works fine once I put bronzer on. Um, I just really, really love this. The whole point beyond this is it's supposed to look really flawless in photos. Which I have to agree, whenever I use this, my face does look pretty flawless in photography. So I love this powder. I like to use this to set like the rest of my face. I will go in and use a different powder to set my under eyes. But I will use this to set the rest of my face and I've been loving this product. If you guys have not tried this, definitely try it. It's so affordable and so, so good. Moving on, I have been really reaching for this again. This is the... Um, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So this is in like a little jar and there is the product right there. I have been reaching for this like crazy. I ran out of my Anastasia Brow Wiz so I was like oh my god what am I going to do and I forgot that I had this so I reached back into it and it is what I used to do my brows today and I've been loving loving this brush with it. This is the Anastasia. I think this is the number 10 brush. It just has the spoolie on one end and the angled tip on the other, but this angled brush is so thin that you can just get like the perfect angled um, brow and it's so so easy to apply with the pomade. And I'm in the color caramel which is a little bit dark for me right now, but I did make it work and I just have been reaching for this and loving it. It stays in place all day and it's very very easy to apply like I said. And this brush just gives you amazing control. So I've been loving these two paired together. All right, so moving on, I really, really want to talk about these. These are the new ColourPop eyeshadows. This is in like the little palette. If you, I think if you um, got four or more, you got a free palette to put them in. So these are the colors that I picked out. And I also picked out a couple more that didn't fit in this, obviously. Um, these are extremely pigmented and... I have nothing bad to say about them. Here are some swatched right here. This is like a more like kind of like metallic-y pink color right there. And then this one is like this along the same lines, just a lighter shade. Look at that pigmentation. It is unreal. These are amazing. I think they're five or seven dollars. I don't remember exactly the price of these, but I also got these ones as well that I put in my little Z palette that came with BoxyCharm this month. So these top three are also from ColourPop. And guys, I have nothing bad to say about these. They are absolutely amazing. If you have not tried the ColourPop eyeshadows, definitely try them out. If you guys want me to do a makeup tutorial using these, let me know. I would love to. I love this color right here. So this is in the color Paper Tiger. It's like this mustardy yellow, which I absolutely love shades like these um, for like a transition shade and to really like warm up any eyeshadow look. So I have been loving the ColourPop eyeshadows. I think they are so amazing. Moving on to this eyeshadow palette that I've been recently, recently? <laughs> that I've been recently reaching for. This is the Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette by Anastasia. And guys, I've been reaching for this like crazy lately. I absolutely love this palette so, so much. This has to be one of my all-time favorite palettes. There's just so many like warm shades, but there's also some really pretty cool tones in here. I just love this palette. I have nothing bad to say about this one. I've been reaching for it like crazy. I just love, love, love this palette. It is so, so beautiful. Ugh, my baby. Another favorite um, this month is this, and this is a blush by MAC. This is also fairly new to my collection. This is in the color Peaches, and it just looks like this. It's this beautiful, beautiful blush. I love this. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. It's right there on my middle finger. I'm not flicking you off, but I have it on my cheeks today, and it's just this really, really pretty peachy color. I love warm blushes. I think they're beautiful. So this one I have been reaching for every single day since I got it. I cannot put it down, and I just love this blush so much. Moving on, of course, I had to throw a highlight in here or else it wouldn't be a favorites video. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Gilded Honey. The reason why I'm holding it so weird is because mine 
falls out of the pan, but I have to be very gentle with it. This highlight I'm wearing right now on my cheeks, and I just love this highlight. It is so beautiful. One of my all-time favorite highlights. This highlight is just one of those highlights where you can use it on your face, and it does not look powdery. Like, you just look like you are glowing within. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. That's kind of far away, but I have it on my cheekbones. It is such a beautiful highlight, and because it's baked, that's what's that's what gives it that really pretty kind of like glow. I just love it so much. It is so stunning. One of my all-time favorite highlights. If you guys have never tried this and you love to glow, definitely check this one out. So moving on, I'm going to talk about this. This is the Tarte um, Double Take Eyeliner. I have been using the absolute crap out of this. It's two-sided, so you get a regular kind of like eyeliner that rolls up and then you get your felt tip liner which I've been using for like my wing and this is so pigmented so black this is a really good eyeliner for the waterline it doesn't smudge doesn't smear and this felt tip is just really good I get really good control with it definitely love this because you kind of get two eyeliners well you do get two eyeliners in one and it's just absolutely amazing it does dry matte so it doesn't have that shiny finish when you do your eyeliner it's just so good I love this stuff sticking with the eyes I think I might have mentioned this in my January favorites but I had to mention it again because I've been reaching for it every single time I do my lower lashes this is the wet n wild skinny mascara this is such an amazing lower lash mascara. It has such a tiny, tiny little wand, and you can get in there and get like the tiny, tiny little hairs, and it doesn't smudge or smear really easily, which sometimes when I go in with my other mascaras, the wand is so big and I have small eyes, so it's really easy to kind of smear my mascara. This is such a tiny wand that you get such good control, and it just really coats the tiny, tiny lashes that you usually miss with like a bigger mascara. Highly recommend this. It's by Wet n Wild, so it's super affordable, and I just, I love this stuff. Last thing for eyes are these. These are the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes. I absolutely love these lashes. They came out with a few different kinds. These ones are, let's see, I'm not sure which ones these are. Oh, there's the name. They're the 811s, and I've been loving these. I also have a different pair, and they're just super, super pretty. They look really natural because they are the faux mink lashes, and I just, I've been wearing the crap out of these. I actually already wore these and put them back in the box, um, so that's why they're like a little crooked over here. Definitely check out the new faux mink lashes by Ardell. They're super pretty. Next is a perfume that I want to talk about. This is by Victoria's Secret. This is an oldie. Um, this is by the Bombshell perfume. I've just been reaching for this all the time this, la this last month. I don't know why because I have so many different perfumes, but I've just been reaching for this and it smells so amazing. Smells are kind of hard to explain, so if you guys have never smelled this, go to Victoria's Secret and smell it. It smells amazing. Let me know if you guys would want to see like a perfume collection video. I don't have like a ton, but I do have a few that I absolutely love. So let me know if you guys want to see something like that. But this one, I've been reaching for like crazy. And then the last thing I want to talk about is a skincare product. This is by Glam Glow. This is the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. And I love this stuff. I bought this a while ago and I still have quite a few uh, product left in there. Um, this stuff, the smell of it, first of all, mm, so good. I don't know what that was. I for It smells like honey and like, oh my god, it smells so good. So the idea behind this is it's really good at hydrating your skin. I like to put this on before bedtime. So I wash my face, put my toner on, all that stuff, put my eye cream on, and then I will go in with this and put like a thick coat of it on my face and sleep in it, and when I wake up, my skin is thanking me. It is like so moisturized, amazing. I absolutely love this. I've been using this like crazy because I have a lot of dry skin um, because of the weather, and this has saved my skin so much. I've actually never gone through this because it does last quite a while, so I guess it's worth spending the money, and it's an amazing product. So if you guys have really dry skin and you are looking for a really good mask 
that's really going to moisturize. Definitely look into the Glam Glow Hydrating Treatment. It is amazing. That was all my favorites for the month of February. Let me know if you guys used any of these products for the month of February or if they are some of your favorites. And also let me know down below if I am missing something that I need to try that you guys think I would love. I would love to see your suggestions. That, I guess, completes this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye!